It's time for Trending Topics brought to you by Compass Health Network. Here we have Fox2Now.com web producer Monica Ryan, and we're on the Fox2Now.complex. Yes. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Of course. Hi, Kim. Hi. Um, yeah, so you know us on the web. We love our real estate stories. Yes. So we have another one for you. Um, this $1.2 million home in Sunset Hills, it's perfect for a gearhead. Okay. It's a five-car garage, but it has lifts built into it, Whoa. so you can even fit seven cars. Oh, my god. So pretty crazy. Heated epoxy floors. Oh. It's so gorgeous. Um, the garage is 1,800 square feet. I oh mean, gosh. that's that's you could live in the garage, in the right? Garage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So um, the lift system is negotiable. You could you could keep that if you really uh, gunned for it. I would imagine that somebody would want to keep it because they could have minor car repairs there, like yeah. getting their tires, you know, switch, uh, uh, um, getting their tires rotated, exactly. having their oil changed, and they won't have to go into a dealership to do it. So I would imagine somebody would want to keep that. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool as you can see from the photos. So. Okay. Yeah. All right. Love it. Next, this is a bad week for Kansas City. It really is. It really is. Uh, St. Louis has really beaten them yeah. as far as it uh, comes to food. Like we're beating them at barbecue and here we are beating them with fried chicken. Oh. So after all that tinkering <laughs> in uh, the Sunset Hills home, you might be hungry. And uh, St. Louis is ranked high among top fried chicken joints. The online dining guide Eater said Juniper in the Central West End mm. has the best fried chicken in the state. Um, according to the dining guide, the wet batter is what makes Juniper's fried chicken stand stand out from the best. They are so southern, um, just very intimate atmosphere, yeah. and we've had them on the 9 a.m. show before. They are simply passionate about food. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost like molecular gastronomy. They want to get down into, they, they, they care about that crunch. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. So we're really beating Kansas City this week as far as food goes. So our Fox 2 web producers did another investigation into some STL history. Tony Twist, he was an enforcer for the St. Louis Blues in the 90s, right. but he made more money off the ice when he won a lawsuit against a comic book for using his likeness. Oh. Yeah. So a judge awarded Twist $24.5 million. The comic book series Spawn created a mob enforcer oh character. My. Yes. Oh. Named Antonio Twistelli, and his shortened name was Tony Twist. So we have more details about this story on our website, fox2now.com. So head over there. I was today years old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I just, and then uh, it's also a sad day here for us. Right? Yes, yes. So yesterday was Molly Rose's last day. She was our tra morning traffic anchor, and uh, she's headed out of the news business, but we will miss her dearly here. She's uh, pregnant with her second baby. Yeah. So yeah, we well, wish her well. You know, I'm glad that she's still writing, but I'm telling you just, uh, she's a, an amazing person. Just, a, just an amazing, nice person, but a wonderful journalist. So uh, I really do believe uh, the journalism, the business is missing a lot. Yeah, yeah, she's definitely won some awards throughout her career. Yeah. I think her career spans about 15 years. Yeah, so, yeah. she doesn't look it. <laughs> she doesn't look it. Thank you so much, Monica, yeah. I really appreciate this. This was Trending Topics, brought to you by Compass Health Network.